<laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Peter Griffin versus Homer Simpson. That's right, today we are reacting to and breaking down all of the medical scenes and injuries from an epic battle between Peter and Homer. Who do you think's gonna win, Family Guy or The Simpsons? Let's dive right in. I'm saying The Simpsons suck. Why you? Uh oh, trash talking. Oh, nice. When somebody gets banged in the nose, typically it bleeds pretty easily. Usually it's not a significant bleed. Not very often do people have fractures in their nose that need to be replaced in the sense of put back in line. But sometimes that does happen. Uh-oh. Oh, right into his face. Same idea, when you're getting that much trauma, you're getting dazed, you're getting dizzy. Things are probably a little bit distorted as your brain is kind of sloshing around. Ah! <laughs> the accidental moon. How many people have mooned their friends? Let me know in the comments. Obviously, there's strangulation injuries that we worry about. You always think about injury to the major vessels in the neck. You can actually cause tears. Even if they don't go through the whole vessel wall, they actually increase the risk of developing a clot, and then it can increase your risk of having a stroke. So we obviously need to check that out. What the hell? That really hurts. No, it doesn't. I do it to my son all the time. You strangle oh, your son? That's insane. No wonder he's fat and stupid and masturbates all the time. That's your son! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the headbutt in that area when somebody gets a fracture up here, we call this a Lafort fracture, and there's different levels of it having to do with the injury and how much fracture of the bone there is, and depending on where it is. Oh, I don't think the glass would break that easily. That's why it's really good to have these safety devices in cars that can pop a window really easy in case you're ever in a life-threatening event where you need to get out of the car. What? Yep, not survivable in the real world. Getting smashed up against the buildings, the amount of trauma, potential fractures, contusions, skin that's just being ripped off, is huge. Then just getting torqued around the tree, that's gonna leave you paralyzed most likely. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh, we'll get reports where the car is one place and the individual is way over. It's good for us to know how much velocity was in the car accident. We always think the worst because of the amount of blood force that can occur. Oh my gosh, that is a massive rollover. Obviously right into the power plant, the nuclear power plant. Nuclear. We don't really deal with a lot of nuclear things. It's nuclear, dummy. The S is silent. At the hospital, but we are prepared for it. There's always drills that are run. Basically, you just have to decontaminate people before they come into the buildings. And typically tents are set up outside of the emergency department. <laughs> So far, we have so much head injuries and nobody's passed out yet. It's actually quite interesting. If I was a writer of this, I would at least have a few seconds where somebody's like unconscious and then pops right back up. Oh, wait a minute. I know what these are because my wife has one of these. These are Emmy Awards. <laughs> Hey, that's no fair. I don't got none of them. Oh, that is hilarious. I didn't know Family Guy hasn't gotten any. They should get some. There's spikes sticking into the wall. If it hits Peter, it's going to cause some puncture wounds and injuries. We actually don't close them up. We're going to lock bacteria in there, so you actually just let them be. And we're getting some gas leaks, radiation leaks. Uh, <laughs> obviously, it's a vat with some steam coming off it, so maybe it's really hot. Probably gonna cause a lot of burn. It's gonna singe all the skin off, then it's gonna go into the subcutaneous tissue, your fat, and then the concern is, is it gonna get to the muscle. Oh geez, it's bubbling. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha, there's a skeleton. Even sometimes hot temperature will actually even melt all the bone as well. What, what, wait a minute. Homer just regenerated himself. Nice, he's ripped. 
Oh, and Peter the same way. Look at those forearms. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a actually a good depiction. Almost like in the nuclear fallout type scenes with the mushroom cloud, compression of the air, things just disappearing. Crazy. Perfect. The earthlings are destroying themselves. Yeah, it's really great, isn't it, guys? Oh my gosh, what a good combination. That's Roger from American Dad. I'm becoming an expert, not just in medicine, but in these cartoons because I've seen them so much now. Back at it. Oh. <laughs> Fall from that height, you know what I'm gonna say. The likelihood of survivability is very low. Any fall greater than probably about 15 feet is a significant trauma and potential for injury. Oh, there goes some teeth. Oh, man, ouch. I do like that the, every single tooth is depicted as a molar. You have incisors, you have the canines, and you have the molars. If your tooth comes out, make sure you go find it. Probably the easiest thing to do is actually just put it back in your mouth. The saliva that's in your mouth is fine. Oh, there goes Homer. Oh, man, what? I wasn't ready for that. We only have one attachment to the eyeball itself, but typically we're gonna have the optic nerve and then we're gonna have six muscles around the eye and the back attaching to it. It takes a lot of force to have it actually move out of its socket. Nice, oh geez. Oh man, the hand is super sensitive. Obviously we have lots of nerves all over our body, but the hand, there's so many intricate movements to it, a lot of nerves to it, and that just hurts like heck. <gasps> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Homer, good core muscular work to be able to sit up that fast and use your noggin to knock him right in the you know where. Oh, Peter is knocked out cold where he's actually drooling. So good job. I take back what I said earlier. Oh my gosh, he's waking up. Good depiction of double vision, blurry vision. We ask patients all the time when their visual field has changed, is it double vision? Are you seeing two objects? I'm seeing double here. Or is it blurry vision where it's one object and it's just very, very blurry? <gasps> How is that even possible? What are you still doing here? I think you're gonna get a kick out of this. You're parked behind me at your place. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, the creativity, the injuries, the funness. I really like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if there's other Simpsons Family Guy clips that you want me to check out. And make sure you pick up the limited run merch that is out now. Check out the link below before it goes away. Binge watch this series right here. Check out all these videos. As always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.